We have some huge things breaking in the cryptocurrency market today. So I'll be talking to you guys about banks trying to ban crypto. We're going to be talking about CZ of Binance. There's been a huge attack on the Binance crypto exchange. We'll be talking about that, Elon Musk, plus a lot more. So everything you need to know in the crypto market today, we are going to be covering it right now. So if you guys enjoy the updates, hit the thumbs up button. Let's get into the video. The first thing I want to do in this video is actually shout out you guys who made some profits on Wall Street memes. So it was a crypto we have been covering on the channel and right off launch, it actually got up to around five cents. So some nice gains happening on that cryptocurrency. As always in crypto, always remember, you know, high reward, high risk, some will do well, some might not do well, but it's always good to be making profits, taking profits in the crypto space. And I think if Wall Street memes continues to pump out the tweets, builds up the community, could be a very exciting crypto to check out over the long term. But shout out to anyone who made some gains on that cryptocurrency right there. And guys, let's talk about what is happening in the crypto market right now. So the first thing to know is a little bit of a quick update on Ben Armstrong. What's happened? People are interested. Let's cover it. So Ben Armstrong, founder of BitBoy Crypto Channel, he's been released on bail after arrest. So he did get arrested by the police. What he was arrested for right here, they spell it out. He was arrested on charges of loitering slash prowling and for simple assault by placing another one in fear with a bond of about 2,600 hundred dollars so he wasn't charged for anything else he wasn't charged for having a gun or anything like that you know that's quite legal in the united states and we do know there is a lot of conflict still happening between ben armstrong and uh, he wants to get his youtube channel back and uh, it's going to be very interesting to see how that unfolds but that is kind of making headlines in the crypto space if we do see more updates about this i'll keep you guys posted but that is the latest one so ben armstrong he's free he's out of jail right now the big news making the headlines in the crypto market today is in the uk because what is happening is jp P. Morgan Chase UK to restrict crypto transactions. So who are these guys? Why do they want to dictate on what people can spend their money on? So who are they to tell people what they can and can't do with their money? But basically all crypto related payments for UK customers are going to be banned by Chase Bank. This is going to come into effect on 16th of October. And they're trying to say they're trying to make it like a safer space. So you know, are they banning alcohol are they banning gambling are they banning payments on other types of uh you know things that could be potentially harmful to health no they're not of course they're not they're just banning crypto because crypto is a threat and you know who are they to dictate what people spend their money on so i believe in freedom and if you guys want to spend money at the casino I, I reckon you should be able to do that if you want to buy yourself some beer i say you can do that too you can spend money on whatever you want but who is chase bank to tell you what you can spend your money on but what i predict from this is i think a lot of customers will actually end up leaving. So how painful will be that if you just want to buy your favorite crypto? Maybe you want to buy Bitcoin. Maybe you want to buy some SHIB. Maybe it's XRP and Chase Bank is saying, no, you cannot do that anymore. So very, very disappointing to see that out of Chase Bank. But at the end, these guys, are you know, I said it on Twitter, they are most likely putting out their own extinction statement. Okay, so they're going the way of the dinosaurs, but it is what it is. Let the chips fall where they may. In the US right now, we have some bullish news. So lawmakers urge SEC Chair Gensler to allow spot Bitcoin ETFs immediately. Okay, so this is good. So some US politicians working for the pathway of freedom in the US. So they are urging Gary Gensler to get on, do his job, approve the listing of spot Bitcoin exchange traded products immediately. And uh, you guys know Gary Gensler, he's just slowing down the market. He's stifling the market, trying to FUD the market. And uh, we want to shout out some names right here. So who are these people? Let's shout them out. Give them, give them some credit. So reps, Mike Flood, Republican from Nebraska. Tom Emma, Republican from Minnesota. Richie Torres, Democrat, New York. And Wiley Nickel, Democrat, North Carolina, I think right there. They've urged Gensler to get on with his job. And it looks like there's bipartisan support. And I think crypto should get bipartisan support in the US. So it should be a policy everyone gets behind. So why shouldn't they be getting behind crypto? But that is good. And that's what the SEC needs to do. That's going to be bullish for crypto if that does happen right there. Also, Ethereum hits $10 billion in revenue faster than Facebook and Microsoft. So how does it generate revenue? I was interested, I was interested to see how they classify that, but it has hit... 10 billion dollars faster than the other big techs and it's coming actually through 
in terms of fees on the Ethereum chain. So every time you guys know there's a fee that goes through, transaction goes through, a bit of money needs to be paid in the Ethereum gas fees. And it's actually hit, you know, $10 billion faster than some of the other ones out there. So very impressive to see this out of Ethereum. And, uh, you know, crypto is the future. So I wouldn't be surprised. Yesterday, we talked about Xbox and crypto. You know, this adoption, it's going to accelerate. It's only going to get bigger. I'm getting excited. And guys, let's talk about the big attack on Binance right now. So have a look at this one. The world's biggest crypto firm is melting down. So we've heard this over and over again for years on end. But you know what? It hasn't melted down. So this time it's coming out of the Wall Street Journal. Big FUD attack against CZ. And uh, over and over again, we basically see more and more FUD, you know, getting put towards uh, CZ or Binance. And you also have to remember who were the people promoting FTX, promoting Sam Bankman Freed as basically the saviors of cryptocurrency. It was the Wall Street Journal. So CZ actually post this. And if we bring up these pictures, look at the headlines of this one, the 30 year old spending $1 billion to save crypto. Sam Bankman Freed, owner of an expanding crypto empire is trying to bail out the industry after a sharp downturn. Was he or was he just trying to get money to uh, give to political parties through his parents and buy mansions in the Bahamas guys because they got that one 100% wrong right there. It's just hilarious the propaganda they put into our FTX right here. So they classified him as the industry savior and uh, there's no accountability yeah, for, for some of these journalists out here, but they are on a big relentless FUD campaign against the BNB crypto exchange and, uh, you know, Binance CZ. And uh, CZ has fired back right here. What has he said? He said right here, too lazy to even post for focus on building. And that's 100% right, guys. So there is a lot of uh, FUD targeted against the Binance crypto exchange. And I'm still bullish on the BNB ecosystem. And uh, but I'm not going to be surprised if the FUD continues. Because again, why do they want to take down the Binance CZ and this crypto exchange? is because potentially, you know, in the US, they might unleash these Bitcoin ETFs and they don't want those institutions going to the Binance US crypto exchange. So I reckon if Wall Street owned Binance and if it literally was owned by the big banks, they would be putting, you know, CZ as the savior of crypto and Binance as the savior of crypto. It all comes down to ownership and control. And uh, but that is what we know right now. So once those Bitcoin ETFs come on, there might be a lot of buying, there might, like, might be a lot of trading of crypto, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and uh, they don't want that money going to their Binance crypto exchange. There is a good theory out there that, you know, people don't want CZ, they don't want Binance to be as dominant as it once was. And Elon Musk is dominating on social media, guys. So X is basically taking over. So taking over TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, YouTube as well. So it is building out to be a big platform. And shout out to everyone over on the X platform right now, but it is growing. And Elon Musk says right here, Bitcoin is the future. And that looks like an AI woman. And I have to say, AI is generating some very cool pictures right now and uh, Bitcoin is the future for sure. And I want to do a very important macro update as well. So have a look at this. Dow sheds nearly 400 points in worst days since March as economic worries return. So let's check it out. The Dow Jones Industrial Average fell Tuesday after the latest home sales and consumer confidence reports stoked concern over the state of the US economy. So there has been a bit of a decrease in the S&P 500. You can also see uh, the CEO of uh, JP Morgan Chase, he says, you know, interest rates may need to rise further to tamp down inflation, which put bearish sentiment onto bank stocks and also the stock market. And sometimes that correlates into the crypto market. So some people see, you know, crypto as high reward, high risk assets, which I think they are in some situations. And uh, sometimes that can taper down the crypto prices. So when the stock market decreases, a lot of the time the crypto market will retrace right now. And you can see, you know, a bit of red, some green on the crypto crypto market today, nothing, you know, surging too much. But if we jump over to uh, the crypto prices today, you can see Bitcoin down just slightly in the last 24 hours. You can see uh, BNB holding on relatively steady, despite the FUD attacks, relentless FUD attacks against the BNB ecosystem, XRP holding on relatively steady right there. And a lot of the cryptos are this trading sideways or, you know, potentially slightly retracing today. But again, you know, crypto is a long term journey, you got to watch out for those big long term catalysts, Bitcoin ETFs, macro bullish economy. They're the things that I think will surge up the crypto market. And if your crypto is making gains in the crypto market in a bearish market, it is, is doing something phenomenally well right there. So shout out to anyone making gains in the crypto space today. And guys, that is a massive update. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button. Appreciate you guys watching. Go have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Crypto Zeus signing out.